Knowledge of emergency operating procedures is a cardinal requisite for flight operation of this or any other aircraft. Ejection procedures for the T-2V are similar to those prescribed for all high-performance naval aircraft. Following is a simulation of those procedures. Once the decision to eject is made, place your feet in the stirrups and sit erect in the seat, head braced against the headrest. Pull the emergency bailout bottle and disconnect the oxygen hose at the mask connection. Grasp the face curtain handle. Pull down to the full limit of travel, firing the canopy and ejecting the seat. If the canopy does not jettison, pull the auxiliary canopy jettison handle or push the canopy lock handle full forward and press the canopy open switch. If none of the above procedures jettisons the canopy, pull the canopy interlock release handle. Then pull the face curtain to the full limit of travel, ejecting the seat through the canopy. The air start is another emergency procedure with which you must be acquainted. Immediately upon flame out, move the throttle to the off position. Maximum altitude for an air start is 25,000 feet. Descend to that altitude if necessary. Then assume a glide of 200 knots. At this speed, the engine will windmill at 8 to 10 percent RPM. Then drain the tailpipe of residual fuel. Place the plane in a shallow dive. Move the ignition switch to on. Place the battery generator switch in the bat only position. Move the throttle to the ignite position, hold momentarily, then slowly advance it to the idle position. Prime the engine as necessary to altitude idle RPM. Light off should occur within 15 seconds. If air starts are unsuccessful, a flame-out approach may be attempted. Here is a stylized illustration of the flame-out landing pattern, a 360-degree approach with three fixed checkpoints. The high key above and outboard of the intended touchdown point, the middle key about 5,000 feet abeam the touchdown point, and the low key. Adjust your glide path to reach the high key at an altitude of 5,000 feet. Lower gear and flaps. Simulated flameouts may be practiced by using speed brakes. Maintain approximately 150 knots throughout the approach, assuming a 2,000 pound fuel load. Pass over the middle key on your downwind leg at an altitude of 2,600 feet. Decrease altitude to pass over the low key at 1,500 feet. Try to reach the straightaway with a minimum of 600 feet. Touch down at about 120 knots. As in normal landings, retract flaps when the nose wheel touches down to reduce lift and increase traction for braking. This completes our overall review of pre-flight, normal and emergency procedures pertinent to the T2V. Subsequent films and training will, of course, treat these procedures in specific detail.